Hello everyone and welcome back to an extremely special video on Utsav's Chem Trek. So let's be very honest, it has been forever and a half since I've uploaded a video and I would like all of y'all to accept my apologies for the same. In fact, to make up for this delay, I have planned an amazing video for all of you amazing people out there and I promise I'm going to blow your minds away today. In the last year, two things have absolutely not changed. Number one happens to be my laziness because of which I've hardly uploaded any videos and I promise y'all I'm going to change that soon. And number two is the tremendous amount of love and appreciation that I have got from all of you lovely people out there. And for that, I have a heartfelt thank you. Honestly, there hasn't been a single day where I've woken up without an extremely positive comment from one of you amazing people out there. In fact, it's truly because of the love and support from people like you that I have reached the incredible milestone of 4,000 subscribers and reached places such as Maharashtra, Karnataka, West Bengal, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Bihar, Orissa, Jharkhand, Uttarakhand, Delhi, Haryana, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Sikkim, and even Ladakh. And now for an extremely special announcement before I go ahead and create magic onto your screens. One thing that this pandemic has taught us is that with the right teachers and the right content, online teaching can do wonders. Many of y'all wanted to reach me, wanted to learn from me, and that is exactly what I want as well. If you are in the 10th standard right now and really need that last push for chemistry, you have the opportunity of joining me for either a crash course or a test series. At the same time, if you are a student of the 7th, 8th or 9th standard, you can join me for online tuitions for the following academic year at extremely pocket-friendly costs and amazing notes made by me, wishing for nothing but academic success. I would love to see people from all of these states join me together. You can reach out to me at my email id utsavschemtrek at gmail.com or my Instagram handle utsavgen123 links for which have been provided in the description box below. So till now, all of y'all have definitely studied about the three states of matter, which happen to be solid, liquid and gas. Today I'm going to create the fourth state of matter, which is called as plasma right in front of your eyes. And for that, we would require the lights to go off and at the same time, the plasma globe to go on. A plasma is normally created when one or more electrons are torn free from an atom. High temperatures often cause plasmas to form. In fact, to create plasma within the plasma globe over here, I am allowing the central black sphere to charge with a potential of more than 5000 volts. It results into the ionization of the noble gases present inside, such as neon and argon, resulting into the formation of absolutely brilliant streaks of light. At the end of the day, plasma can show us that electricity flows from an area of higher potential to an area of lower potential. Since my body is a relatively better conductor of electricity, as compared to the air surrounding the plasma globe, the streaks of plasma tend to follow the touch of my hand. Absolutely brilliant, isn't it? If I take my hand away from the plasma globe, it returns back to its initial position. And if I want all of the streaks to concentrate at one point, there we have it. The plasma glow can also be utilized for creating sparks in air. To demonstrate that, allow me to place 
a small metallic coin onto the surface of the plasma globe, which is now going to act as my area of higher potential. If I touch another metallic coin, the previous one, I will be able to generate sparks between them. And right now, I have placed some fairy lights over the plasma globe. Carefully pay attention to the fact that the fairy lights have not even been connected into an electrical socket. I have the plug of them right into my hand. However, because they have been placed over the plasma globe, they are definitely capable of glowing. Want to see that more properly? Lights off! Amazing, isn't it? And now for my most favorite part of today's experiment. I have one end of a CFL tube light in my hand. The other end I will be surrendering to the plasma globe. Have a look. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? And now let's do something that no appliance of your home can do. If I want only half of the CFL tube light to glow, I am going to place my hand right into its middle. I am going to surrender the other half of this particular tube light to the plasma globe. Brilliant, isn't it? Over here, the plasma globe is the source of electricity. The electrons flow from the plasma globe towards my hand. Then I, being a good conductor of electricity, the electricity flows via my body and towards the ground. I am literally part of the circuit over here. If you thought today's video was absolutely awesome, do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel Utsav's Chemtrek. We are planning for many such fun videos in the upcoming future.